Yes, hello everyone. This is your guy, Davin the Geek, again. And this is <clears throat> a tutorial on how to use the pen tool in Adobe's Illustrator. I know it's been a long time since I did any, you know, Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop tutorials. And I haven't talked about the my book yet. But don't worry, I'm going to get to that really soon. I just have to get some legal stuff paid off and, you know, get that out the way. So don't worry. If you're into that or if you're... Um, a subscriber who's looking forward to that but um some people have issues with using the pen tool inside of adobe illustrator and i'm gonna say it's different than using the pen tool in photoshop it's way 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 different than um using the pen tool in photoshop I'm gonna, i know i'm gonna say that but um it's it's rather easy in illustrator to use the pen tool and i'm gonna show you how to do it right now and I'm going to show you how to do line art in here too, which is way easier using than um, in Photoshop. <clears throat> okay. You, you co okay, look over here. You pick a color that you want, your fill color. These are two things you deal with inside of Adobe Illustrator. You deal with a fill color. This is the fill. Now, like, now think about something like a bucket. Like you see the outside of it is this black line right here. And the inside of it is going to be filled in with this. So remember that. Like, um, okay, I'm going to place down a triangle. I mean, not a triangle, a rectangle. I'm going to place down a rectangle. And let me make the um, outline bigger. Okay. This color, the red color, is the inside color right here. And the outside color is the black line right there above it. I don't know if you can see it, but um, let me make it bigger for you. There you go. Okay, and you might be asking yourself, why are you telling me about this? Why should I know about the inside color and the outline? You know, the um, the fill color and the um, stroke color. Well, these are the two things that are going to play the vital role when using your pen tool. So, let me get rid of that. And we're going to get this show on the road right now. Come over here, grab the pen tool, click it, or hit P. And say you want to make line art or something like that. You're going to place a point right there. And then you could place another point wherever you're going to meet up the um, line art. And then now you pull. You pull away. And now you have a good loop. Oh, not a loop, but a um, curve. And you see that? It has that um, the halfway fill right there. I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. You come over here. Select your um, fill color and come right down here to none. What this will do, it's going to blank out the, it, well, it's, it's going to take out the um, fill color. So you hit none, and there you go. The fill color is not there anymore right now. And we're going to come back over here and finish our line art real quick. And I'm going to tell you more about this in a sec. And you come over here, you hit your anchor right here. Remember in my Photoshop tutorial, if you haven't seen it, you have to hold down Alt to hit this in uh, my Photoshop tutorial. But um, but in here on um, Illustrator, you don't have to hit Alt. All you have to do is just come to it and click it. It's that simple and easy. They made it way easier in this um, in Adobe Illustrator for some reason. I don't know why they don't do that in all of their programs. I mean, it beats me. Somebody had, should talk to um, Adobe about that. And now you come over here and you, you place your anchor and you pull. And what this is going to do is it's going to get you some line art. But, and it, it depends if you want your line, outline only, or do you want the um, inside line? I mean, the um, fill color. But you see, these lines are too big. But um, it's not going to allow me to get the accurate line art that I want. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my selection tool. I selected it. You know, I just selected it like that. And you come over here and you make your outline very small. And there you go. Now your outline, your your stroke color, that's what they might that's what they really call it a stroke. It is very tiny. And now you can put your fill in and be exactly accurate as I mean you can be as accurate as you want. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, and now we want to put a fill in there. So you come back over here, make sure your fill is selected. It's um in the front and not in the back like this. Make sure it's not like this. Make sure it's like this. But um I want my color back. So you're going to, 
Well, you can do two things. If your color just changed, you can double click this. And I want red. And I picked red, and there you go. It just filled it in for me. But I don't want the out the um the stroke there, the um black line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here. I click my um stroke color and I'm gonna come down to none. And now you get your um selection tool and you click away, and there you go. You have your line art that you want. It's that easy, it's not super hard at all. And I know some people have issues with the pen tool, but it's not that difficult to use at all. Trust me. And there you go, it's that easy. You can outline with this tool. I mean, you've seen it in my other tutorial, um, my Photoshop tutorial. Check that out if you want to see that. But I do not want to make this into a super long video. You know, YouTube, they don't let you have very long videos. It's not my fault. So, yeah. And, yeah, so that's how you do it. You get a line up just like that. So let's do it over again. Let's, let's do another one. Let's come here. First, let's get my color back, my, um, my stroke. But remember, I don't want my fill right now. I want to be able to see where I'm going with this um, pen tool. So what I'm going to do is take the fill out. I clicked none, made sure that was up there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a point. Come here, place another point, and hold it down and pull. Let go. Come here. Click that point. Get rid of that. Get rid of that anchor because that anchor is going to make a weird loop. So look, let me see if I can put it back. Uh, hold on. Let me put it back, that anchor. You see, it's always good to get rid of this anchor when you want to do a turn of some sort. Because, look, it's going to do this to you. It's going to make that, that loop. It's, it's just the way the anchor work. And I'm sure there are other people who can explain um, the anchor much better and how it works, the vertices and all that stuff. But I'm just telling you as simple as it gets. Just get rid of it and you'll be, you'll be good right there. Let me undo that. So always get rid of these anchors if you can. You know, if you want to do a turn of some sort, just get rid of these anchors. And then you place another point over here and you pull. Get your line art as clean as you want. And there you go. You got your line art. And now come over here to this color. I'm going to pick a color. Let's go with yellow. Or, all right, let's go with yellow. And there we go. Now I don't want this color anymore, this stroke. I'm going to take that out. And there we go. We have another line art right there. Another clean line art. But uh, remember, you don't always have to get rid of the the um, point anchors, the sides of them, if you're doing like straight lines. You can do straight lines like this, 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 and this, and that. You can do straight lines. You don't have to get rid of a, um, a anchor all the time. So remember, keep that in mind. You don't have to always get rid of your anchors. So you just do that. Or, you know, if you're going to take a turn, you do this. You come here and you want to do a turn. Then you're going to have to get rid of this. Come here and then pull. And there you go. It's that simple, that easy. And yeah. See you guys later. This has been your guy Devin the Geek. Please check out my channel. I do other kinds of tutorials and computer tips and all whatever blah blah blah. And I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to I'm going to leave now. See you guys. I'm gone. Bye. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment or PM me. See you guys. I'm out. Bye.